So in this problem, we're told to find the limit, if it exists, of the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of 4x squared plus x and minus 2x. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite our limit. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity, square root of 4x squared plus x minus 2x. So in order to solve a limit like this, where you have like a square root and minus uh, something like this, what you want to do is multiply uh, by the conjugate. So basically, we're going to multiply this top and bottom by 4x squared plus x, and then we're going to swap the sign on this. So plus 2x, and then we're going to do that by the top and bottom. This is like 1 right here, so multiply by the same thing, 4x squared plus x plus 2x. So let's look at what happens at the top. So this is 4x squared plus x minus 2x, and we're multiplying by 4x squared plus x plus 2x. So essentially what happens is uh, this square root's going to cancel, right? Because if we multiply this uh, this right here by this, the square root's cancel. So it's just going to be a 4x squared plus x, right? And then we're multiplying the square root of 4x squared plus x by 2x. And then we're doing the same thing with minus 2x times this. And so those are going to cancel, right? And then what you see is we have left is minus 2x times 2x which becomes minus 4x squared. Then the thing you'll notice is that these can cancel, right? So 4x squared and minus 4x squared cancel. So the, basically the only thing that we're left with on the top is going to be x. So that's like a common theme you'll see when you multiply by the conjugate here. For limits like these, you're just going to have x on top. So if we have x on top, so let me rewrite it. So the limit as x approaches infinity, and we have x on top, then on the bottom we just have this. So square root. I should have continued that. 4x squared plus x plus 2x. And so now that we've got it in this form, there's another thing we have to do. What we want to do is get rid of this x on top. And we do that by multiplying both sides, or top and bottom, by 1 over x. And so when we multiply the top by 1 over x, it becomes x over x, which is just 1. So on the top, we're just going to have 1. We have the limit. Uh, so it's just going to become 1 on top, right? And then what happens on the bottom? So when we multiply 2x by 1 over x, 2x over x is just 2. So we have plus 2 on the bottom. And then when you have the square root of something and we're uh, multiplying by 1 over x, it's the same thing as dividing the terms on the inside by x squared. So it's basically just this. 4x squared divided by x squared plus x um, divided by x squared. Basically these cancel, so we just have 4. And then x over x squared is just 1 over x. So basically on the bottom, we're just going to have 1 over the square root of 4 plus 1 over x. We're taking the limit as x approaches infinity of this. So let's go ahead and solve it. So we have 1 on top, and then so 1 over infinity, we can treat as 0, right? So 4 plus 1 over infinity, which is 0, plus 2. And then the square root of 4, because that's basically the square root of 4, is just 2. And then we're adding it to 2. So 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. So the answer to this is just going to be 1 over 4.